Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Uh, happy Saturday. It's almost 11 o'clock a.m. Just got home from a workout. Uh, did a good little circuit today. Did some running, did some deadlifts, did a back and chest circuit, did some single arm, single limb arms and shoulders. So I'm, I'm home now. My, uh, my daughter joined me. Uh, what's up, Chris? My daughter joined me today. Uh, so she she's getting strong. She's she's uh, 15. She had a PR today. Did some uh, 50 pound 50 pound dumbbell presses. Uh, my wife stayed home because my son had to do a, a heel workout. Uh, this after he did a basketball workout last night, and so my wife called in and did the class remotely. So if you guys want to do remote classes, virtual classes, you can always hit me up and join our classes virtually. So she did that, and then she did the bike, right? So me and my daughter did the class, did the workout in person. My son did a workout, he'll work out with his basketball team. My daughter joined the, my daughter, my wife joined the class virtually. What's up, Joe? And then did a, got on the bicycle and did more work. So we all, four of us, got work in this morning, right? It's 11 a.m., we're all done uh, with our workouts. Many people believe that I, that I make my family do stuff. Like they asked my wife, does, you, does your husband make you work out? Uh, my, my, my kids, friends asked him, does your dad push you to work out? I don't. I don't. I give them tools. Uh, I speak to them regularly um, the same way I do with you guys and give motivation and inspiration. But I want them to own it. Right. I want them to want to be great. And so I don't really make them do anything. Right. Once they commit to it, I help them buy into it but I don't really make them do anything. And so that's, that's how it is. So um, the fact of the matter is I'm not, I'm not saying people should want to be fit, right? I'm not telling you guys that you should want to have big arms or you should want to have nice abs or you should want to be lean and lose weight. I'm not telling you that you should want to be a doctor or want to be a lawyer or want to be successful. I'm not telling you you should want to be a millionaire or a nice, have a nice house. I'm not telling you you should want to have relationships that are that are positive and fruitful, and and give you um, give you the feeling of love and reciprocity. I'm not telling you you should want any of that. Hey cousin, what I am telling you though is if you want that stuff, this is what it costs. Right. So my son, my son always talks to me and, and when he's complaining about about doing push ups or doing the sprint workout, uh, my rebuttal is very simple with him. I, I tell him, I'm not telling you that you should want to be a starting uh, point guard on varsity as a freshman. My daughter wants to be a fitness mogul. Right. She wants to be on billboards. Right. So I, I told her, I'm not telling you you should want to be in the Under Armour section at Dick Sporting Goods, what's you, your poster up, right? My wife, I'm not telling you that you should want to wear a, a, a smaller dress size or want to be, be able to wear a bed. I'm not telling you any of that. But what I'm telling you is, if you do want that, this is what it costs, right? My son, you told me you want to be on varsity. I, I'm not making you want to be on varsity. You told me you want to be on varsity, right? This is what it costs. You told me you want to be a millionaire and buy a Lamborghini, this is what it costs, right? It costs, right, grind equity. It costs, it costs hours of preparation, hours of process. That's what it cost. I'm not telling you you should want that. I'm telling you if you do, this is what it costs, right? So I use the analogy. I'm not, I'm not against any cars, right? So I use the analogy. If you want to buy a Ferrari or you want to buy a Bugatti, this is what it's called, or a Lamborghini, you walk down to that, le to that dealership and that's what it costs. If you don't want to pay for that, then go down to the Honda or the Toyota or the Ford dealership. Nothing wrong with that, right? But the price is different, right? So, so don't tell me you want to have a nice body and feel confident about yourself, right? And be able to go to the pool or the beach confidently and feel good about how you look how you look in the mirror don't tell me you want that and then tell me you want to pay a discount for it because that's what it costs right i always say there's no groupon for greatness greatness is always full price right try going down to to buy one of those nice diamonds you want 
and ask them and try to negotiate the price. That's not how it works. Try to go down and buy a nice uh, vehicle, right? A nice uh, uh, Bugatti or Lamborghini, or Porsche, whatever it is, right? It is what it is, right? So I'm not against them. Those are the other, other things in life that are less than, but if you want to be great, if you want a house on the hill, if you want a nice body that people are jealous about, this is what it costs. Right? So I have no problem with you telling me and admitting me you don't want the nice house on the hill. I want an apartment. Fine. I ain't mad at you. Just stop crying about having a house on the hill if you're not willing to pay the price for it. Like, don't tell me you want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be successful. And then don't want to study. Right? That's what it costs. It costs studying time. I want to go out with my buddies and have fun and play Xbox. Fine. Then work at a regular job. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't tell me you want to be a doctor and don't want to pay what it costs to be a doctor. Right? Don't tell me you want a nice body. Right? I want to feel good in my clothes and don't want to pay what it costs to have a nice body. Right? This ain't the flea market. Right? Nice bodies can be bought at the flea market. Right? Successful careers can't be bought at the flea market. Right? Being a millionaire and successful can't be bought at the flea market. It's always full price. There's no group line for greatness. Period. There's no, there's no living social discounts for greatness. Right? It's always full price. Right? And it's always paid every day of the week. Always. Right? I always tell my class when they're working out, I say, that body you want is on the way. That body you want for the summer is coming. The problem is the payment is due today. You can't delay the payment. The payment is due today and then tomorrow and then the next day. Right? You want to be a lawyer? That's coming. You want to be a doctor? That's coming. You want a nice relationship with your daughter or your wife or your husband? That's coming. The problem is the payment is due today. The payment for that greatness is due today. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. The payment is due today. And then guess what? Tomorrow you wake up, you wake up tomorrow morning feeling good about yourself. Guess what? Another payment is due. That's how you get it. That's how you get the body you want. That's how you get the relationship you want. That's how you get the car, the house, the clothes you want. Right? You guys go, all, go down to all these stores and you buy Louis Vuitton and all this crap. You guys know what it costs for greatness. Right? And in some areas, we pay it. For all the guys and, and, and your new and your new Jordans, your new Jays. You guys know what it costs for greatness? It ain't, it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. Right? So, so I don't mind wearing Adidas. Right? I choose to pay less for Adidas. I'm not mad at that. Right? You want Nikes? Go buy Nikes. What it costs. I don't, I, I choose to pay for the body I have. You don't want it? Don't pay for it. But don't cry to me about the body you wanted that I have that you don't want to pay for. The same way I don't cry to you about the Adidas I have and the Nikes you have because I don't want to pay for that. Right? The Louis Vuitton purse, the coach, whatever it is, the coach purse, right? I don't want to pay for that. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. My boy G, he, he has nice stuff, right? That's fine. He paid for it. He's willing to pay for it. His body's right too. You know why? Because he's willing to pay for it. So we spend all this time complaining about stuff. And the fact of the matter is we ain't willing to pay for it. Right, we, we ain't willing to sit down week after week, month after month, year after year, and study for the test, right? And do the push-ups for the body. And sit down with our daughter or our husband or our wife and build relationships day after day, week after week, month after month, paying the price. So we can't then get mad when we don't have what we want. Right? I can't walk down to that nice store and say I want a Louis Vuitton purse and not want to pay what, it's, what it costs. That's what it costs, sir. This is what it costs, sir. I can't pay that. That's fine. I ain't mad at you. Take your business somewhere else. Right? Don't walk into a Lamborghini dealership and want to pay what it costs for a Toyota. And then get mad at the salesman for, for sending you away. So I'm not here. I'm done apologizing for me wanting to be great. I'm done apologizing for helping to make you great. I'm done. Right? I'm not a Toyota dealership salesman. Right? I'm a Bugatti Lamborghini salesman. 
right? So what I'm selling costs. What I'm selling is, is, is the body you want. What I'm selling is the career you want. What I'm selling is the relationships you want. And that cost. If you don't want it, I'm okay with that. But that's what it costs to be great. Am I right, Greg? Am I right, Teresa? Lisa? Cousin? That's what it costs. So when you, when, when, when you are sitting there figuring out where you are in your life and where you want to be, figure out what it costs to get there. Just like that vacation you're planning, just like that purse you want or that house you want or that car you want, figure out what it's going to cost to get that nice body you want, to get that relationship you want, to get that career you want. Maybe it's more time studying. Maybe it's more time sleeping. Maybe it's more seminars to go to. Right? Maybe it's getting up three times a week and, and not hitting your snooze alarm and going to work out. Maybe it's eating better. What's the price? Right, figure that out, what it costs to have the body I have. Figure out what it costs to have the money you want. And then ask yourself, am I willing to pay for it? Right? And if you're not, be okay with that. But if you are, that's what it costs. That's what it costs. So if you want it and know the cost, go pay for it. Go pay for it every day, every week. Every month, every year, go pay for it, right? And then be happy with what you got. But that's what it is, guys. I'm not telling you, my son, I'm not telling you, son, you should want to be on varsity as a freshman. I'm not telling you, you should want to get a scholarship to Oregon. You told me that. I'm just telling you, this is what it costs. Get your ass up and do a push-up. Drink a protein shake. Get some rest, right? I'm not telling you. Mark Keith, I'm not telling you you should want to be the top salesman in your program. What I am telling you is this is what it costs. Stay late. Learn different ways to speak to people, to motivate people to buy. Whatever it is, you know what it is. I don't know. Whatever you want, figure out what the cost is. And then tell yourself, am I willing to pay for it? And if you are, then pay for it regularly. Don't get mad at me because I have a nice body and I'm, and I'm strong at 47. I pay for it. I ain't mad at you for having Louis Vuitton or Coach Bags or Jordans. You paid for it. Right? I ain't willing to pay for that. Why am I mad at you? Okay? So that's what it is. Right? I'm not telling you. I'm going to love you regardless. Right? Whether you're big or small, rich or poor, I'm going to love you regardless. If you are okay with it. If you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. So I'm not saying that you should want to be rich. I'm not saying you should want to have nice cars or nice clothes or nice shoes or nice purses. I'm not saying you should want to feel good and look good on the beach, whatever age you are. But what I'm saying is that if you do, like you say you do, this is what it costs. Period. No negotiation. This is what it costs. There is no Groupon for greatness. Period. There is no living social... For, for greatness. No discounts. It's full price. It's always full price. Greatness is always full price. Period. All right, guys? So I'm passionate, man. I love what I do. I love what I do, you know? So enjoy your Saturday. Figure out what you want. Figure out what you want in life. Figure out what it costs. And then spend Every day, every week, every month, and every year, paying that price. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.